Hi guys, yes, it's still your girl. You're welcome back to this channel. And if you're new here, kindly subscribe and click the bell notification button to get updated on all and new videos. The sentencing of fraud stars on Instagram big boy Raman Abbas, aka Osh Poppy, has been postponed to the fourth time by the United States Central District Court in California. According to a court notice obtained by Premium Times, the trial judge, Otis White, has fixed 7 November 2022 as a new date of sentence of Poppy. Councils are notified. The sentencing is continued to November 7, 2022 at 11.30 a.m. As to defendant Raman Olorunwa Abbas, the court announcement shifting the sentences, right? The sentence hearing was initially moved by Judge White from February 14 to 11 July, before shifting it to 21 September and now November 7. Osh Poppy 39 was arrested in Dubai, the United States Arab Emirates, in June 2022, alongside two of others over allegations boarding on hacking, impersonation, scamming, banking fraud, identity theft, and was extradicted to the U.S. for prosecution. His extradition to the United States had followed after the UAE police detailed his arrest in a special operation, Dub Fox on 2, where he was accused of defrauding 1.9 million victims to the tune of 168 billion naira. In June 2021, he agreed to plead guilty to the multi-million dollar fraud charges slammed against him by the American government. Abbas, thereafter, entered into a plea bargain agreement with the U.S. government in July 2021 in the hope of getting a lighter punishment. According to court documents, he reached 20 years imprisonment, a three-year period of supervised release, a fine of 500 US dollars, or twice the gross gain or gross loss resulting from the offense. So guys, in case you don't know Osh Poppy, Ramon Abbas, commonly known as Osh Poppy, Osh or Ray Osh Poppy, born October 11, 1982, is a Nigerian man who is facing criminal charges in the United States for conspiracy to launder money obtained from business email compromise fraud and other scams, including schemes that defrauded a U.S. law firm of about $40 million, illegally transferred $14.7 million from a foreign financial institution and targeted to steal $124 million from an English football club until his arrest by the Dubai police in June 2022 and his extradition to the United States. Abbas Raman posted pictures and videos of his lavish spending on exotic cars, watches, designers' clothes, bags from expensive brands like Gucci, Fendi, Louis Vuitton, and of himself boarding helicopters with celebrities, footballers, and Nigerian politicians. Or while on charter jets, he claimed to be a real estate developer. He also holds a passport from St. Kitts and Nevis. On the night, his apartment at the Palazzo Versace was raided in an operation called Name Fox on Tour. Abbas Raymond was arrested alongside 11 others in 60 miniatures raid. Detective said more than 150 million dirham, about 40 million naira, in cash. Certain luxury cars bought 25 million, 21 laptop, 47 smartphone. 15 memory storage devices, 5 external hard drive, and 800,000 emails of potential victims alongside suitcase full of cash. The arrest was part of an FBI investigation that indicated him as being a key player 
ni Transnational Cybercrime Network that provided saved errands for stolen money around the world. Many news platforms have reported that Abad Shremon was one of the second hand clothes seller in Lagos. Oshpok prided himself as his humble beginning. Oshpok's close associate, Mofa, once revealed that his dad is still a cab driver in Lagos, citing interview with an old neighbor of Abbas. News reported that Abbas had a reputation as a Yahoo boy, a local name for a cyber criminal, was not supported by his mother, has not lifted any of his old friends from poverty, and has ignored multiple warnings regarding his lifestyle. He is the subject of a 2017 song, Teleperson, by Nigerian singer Timayo, featuring Olamide and Fino, with whom he had a long running feud. The song contains lyrics directed toward a bars indirectly accusing him of being a swindler and lavishing his money on designer clothes instead of investing in his profitable ventures and warning him that he will soon be on court by authorities. Many viewed the song as a prophetic warning that was fulfilled with his arrest. Upon his arrival in the United States on July 3, 2020, he was accused of conspiring to launder hundreds of millions of dollars. The affidavit also accused Abbas and a co-conspirator of conspiring to loan a friend, tending to be a stolen through fraudulent wire transfer from a foreign financial institution in which fraudulent wire transfer totally approximately 14.7 million US dollars were sent to bank accounts around the world in February 2019. Though the affidavit did not name any bank, According to Forbes, the date of the attack and amounts mentioned in the affidavit match that of the attack on multiple banks of Valetau in February 2019. In February 2019, 14.7 million was transferred out of the bank through false international transaction to accounts in the United States, the United Kingdom, the Czech Republic, and Hong Kong. The attack was such seriousness in Malta that then Prime Minister Joseph Muscat was forced to address Parliament. Multiple sources in Malta include Times of Malta and Malta Today. Also reported Forbes claim that Osh Poppy could have been behind the attack. According to the affidavit Abbas had provided, a co-conspirator with two bank accounts in Europe as participating the receipt of 5.6 million US dollars, each of the fraudulent obtained third. US authorities also accuse him of any North Korea hackers and money laundering. According to the affidavit, other communication between Abbas and one of his co conspirators indicated that the two conspired to launder out tens and at times hundreds of millions of dollars. That represented to other fraudulent schemes and computer institutions, including a fraudulent scheme to steal 100 million euro from an English Premier League football club. Abbas is also accused of committing fraud in Nigeria, as is also wanted by Nigerian Financial Crime Police, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission (EFCC). A quest for his will and the chance to stay with his girlfriend on cousin Homewood Illinois was denied on the ground that he presented a risk of non appearance. At Abbas' detention, a hearing his lawyer, Pizetsky, told the court that his client posed no fight risk because of the damage it would do to his credibility online, adding, he is loved and respected. He is a celebrity. He would not want to ruin his credibility and status rather than stay here and face this allegation. Prosecutor cited his significant and financial assets, deep ties to foreign countries, and a lack of ties to the United States, if convicted to conspiracy to engage in money laundering. Abbas would have faced a statutory maximum sentence of 15 years in federal prison, perhaps even 20 years. 
after which he will be deported to his own country, Nigeria. Well guys, there you have it. The sentencing of first star on Instagram big boy, Raman Abbas, aka Hush Puppy, has been postponed for the fourth time by the United States Central District Court in California. And according to record notice obtained by Premium Time, the trial judge Otis White has faced November 7, 2022 as the new date to sentence Osh Poppy. Thank you all for listening to that and please don't forget to like, subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.